Hi Fox, welcome back. Um, sorry for not uploading for, for a longer time now, I've uh, been busy with uh, some other obligations. Um, but nonetheless, lately I've been uploading only uh, Power BI videos, which is because I love working with Power BI, obviously. Um, but I also have been working with uh, a lot of Power Automate flows, um, so I have to want to um, cool stuff to, to show you, um, which I've been searching, for example, uh, how to do it and um, didn't find any videos, so this might help someone out there. So stick around, give it a thumbs up if you like the video and make sure to subscribe. But first, let's jump to my PC. So I follow this scenario where we have like a, like a store where people can, can call and um, express their issue, for example. They, like they want to repair their phone or their car or whatever, just imagine. And um, the person, the customer who's calling, will be speaking to a to a to a person, and this person then will be filling this um, like a form, Microsoft Forms, uh, with with the details of the customer, and then when the person from from your store from a company will submit it, then this will be um, this will trigger a Power Automate flow, which will then grab. Um, the details of the form, which were filled out, and then based on based on a number of people who are uh, in in the our case called agents, it will randomly pick up one agent and assign it to that customer. So, long story short, we, we're going to check how you can uh, create a, a random picker for for um, I don't know a number of people. So let's take a look on this. How we can do that. So as you can see here, I have. Uh, submitted a couple of forms I've uh, built it for you already and um, we can see here that customer one two three uh, is ignore that but here we can see that it that it picked a different agent each time and this is the flow as you can see here um, it, it grabs the, the ID of the submitted uh, response and someone gets on the user who submitted because we also want to uh, probably uh, save that as well uh, I don't know if I'm doing that here. I'm not doing it because it's it's me anyways, but you can save that value anyway uh, also. So who submitted the form? Um, it's here. And then we initialize the, the variable with, with the persons, with the, uh, with the person who responded. Uh, and then we initialize the variable, which is an array um, of prefix agents. Uh, this is now hard coded. Um, you can you can do that also with a, with a group of people in, in uh, Office 365 or I don't know an AD uh, um, Active Directory group, and then you can uh, randomly pick a person. So let's take a look how we can do that. So I'm not going to go through the um, uh, process of how you can build a forms form because I imagine you you can do that uh, by your, by yourself. And also I'm not going to show how to how to put together a SharePoint list since that's also um, um, I think something that you can do already. If don't, um, make sure you, you watch one of my previous videos. We've done that a couple of times. Um, the most important part of, of this video is, if, is how to put the flow together. So back to the flow, uh, I selected um, an automated cloud flow and we have here when a new response is submitted, we get name, um, test flow or agent picker flow then click on create. So now we have to pick a form. My form is called demo form, as you can see here, so like that. Next, we need to get the responses. So the response details of that form, which form, demo one, and then which response ID, because each response has its own ID. So next, we want to um, get the, the email address of the user. So, uh, well, we have the email address of the user, we want to get his name or her name. So let's get uh, get user profile and then the email or the principal name will come from the responder's email. So this is only if you use your form um, in, this, in this situation where only people in my organization can respond. If you put it in anyone can respond, then it's uh, anonymous, so you will not be able to find that in your flow. Uh, what you could do then, you could enter a new comment or a new question 
asking for the for the email of the person and then you can use that email to find it uh, via get user profile but in this case since we're using the forms um, in inside the organization we can automatically grab the uh, responders email so we have that next i would like to initialize initialize a variable which will be called responders email and that will be obviously a string and the value will be from that get user action the display name since we might want to save that display name in the in the sharepoint list and it will work also with a people picker in that case uh, we, we can take the the email address or we can use it from from the responders email but then this will be um, not necessary so next step uh, i would like to rename this really quick this is the responders email i want to initialize another variable this will be as i said hard-coded list uh, of people called agents and it will be an array I've already prepared it here so I'm not going to write it again I'm just going to copy and paste it in here as you can see here these are just 10 demo agents that have um, uh, it's commentized too much um, which is as again hard-coded so the flow will go through these uh, 10 items here and randomly pick one of them as I said, if you have like a group of people who are always um, in, in that group and you can, you can then add or remove people from that group, you can you can get it, uh, I, I would suggest you get it then the names from, from a group and not hard coded because this way you will always have to go and adjust the flow because again, this is hard coded here. So next step, which is also uh, actually the most important part, uh, we will do a compose, which is a data operation and here to grab the agents variable. So if you if you go to expressions and, and and try to click agents, it will always put it in there. So the trick is to do a blank space once and then go back, and then this fx remains there, as you can see now, and then you can put it there. Make sure you remove that again so that it's um, on the far left side. And then now we have the variables from the agents. So what we want to do here, we want to, um, use the randomizer function, so which is called rand, and then open parenthesis. And as you can see here, it requires a minimum value, which is an integer, of course, and a maximum value. Since we have uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, um, in, the, in the randomizer uh, function, you have to start from zero and then subtract one as well. So it's not one to 10, it's then zero to nine, which is the same amount of people. Now I lost my expression, so again, blank space, uh, agents, remove that. We need to open the uh, square brackets, put rand, and then parenthesis, zero, one, save. So that's our uh, function over there. Next step, it's uh, pretty, pretty uh, obvious. We need to create the item in our um, SharePoint list. So, our SharePoint list is in my development site. It's called test list. Now this will pop up. Customer name. We'll grab it from our customer name response. Question two is question two. We have the phone number. We have the customer number. We we'll have a bunch of comments probably. And also the agent, which will be randomly picked, will be coming from the outputs of our compose. Oh, we can uh, always rename your actions, guys. Uh, I always forget that. So compose random randomizer. And this was our agents agents variable. So let's save it. And let's uh, test it. So I'll click on test manually, then select test. Now it's waiting for a response from the form. Um, this is the editor mode, so let's copy that over here. And 
Uh, ignore the German. Um, I've, I actually have it in English. I don't know why. Because he's in English, everything, but it's showing here in German. Anyways, just just ignore the German um, words. And customer name will be um, customer number four. I don't ignore that one as well. Just random number, random number comments. Let's say I need my TV fixed. Please, let's always be polite. And select send. So this will now trigger our flow. Your flow will run successfully. And we will do a couple of runs, but not from the um, from, from forms anymore. We can test it here in a second. So let's take a look now in our SharePoint list. We should have a new one, uh, customer number four. And it picked agent number one. You can see that over here as well. It has agent number one picked. Um, the, rest is, the rest is pretty obvious, so let's concentrate on this one as well, real quick. And I will go to edit, I will test it now with the recently used trigger. And every time I test it, it should always pick another one. So now, I, um, so now it picked the same again, which is all, also possible, right? I mean, we only have 10 people, we don't have like a billion. So let's edit that again. Hey guys, as you can see here, I made a mistake and uh, I was wondering why, why was it always picking the first agent? And as you can see here, instead of writing 9, I wrote 1. Stupid me. So let's update that and um, yeah, so <laughs> save and test. Okay, so now it has number 1. Did it save a test? It saved. Let's see now. Oh, agent eight. Okay, there it is. So we have now agent. Um, it took agent one twice for some reason. Now it took agent eight. Let's try it again. Now it decided for agent seven. Okay, it's also good. Let's test it again a couple of times. Now it went for seven again, which again, it's it's possible, right? Um, I mean, the, the chances are one to 10 so that you can uh, be picked up again, agent eight. So we, you might have uh, duplicates, of course, but um, let's say agent three, but um, it's it's an easy way to randomize um, a bunch of um, names. Here, agent four, and let's go here. The SharePoint list we have now, I think, enough to see. As you can see here, we have six, two, five, one, one. This happened twice. Eight, seven, seven twice. Then eight again. Then three. Then four. So yeah, that's it. Um, I hope you liked it. I think this is a pretty neat trick, and you can use it in a. In a in the various uh, scenarios. This was just one example I thought about and wanted to show you. So if you liked it, give it a thumbs up, make sure you subscribe and um, catch you on the next one. Bye.